Hey guys, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and today we're going to open up a package from Bandana Gamer, and we're going to check out some pickups that I got after I completed a backlog of about 50% is where I set my goal, and I hit that mark when I beat a couple other games, so I was able to grab some games from a couple stores, some of Mom and Pops, and one online store. So let's start off with Bandana Gamer's package. A uh, little thing that he said he was he's gonna send me something and I really appreciate it Bandana Gamer. Bandana Gamer you a badass! So yeah man. Thank you. He is a fellow Power Ranger enthusiast. So he is one of the people that if I ever know that there's a Power Ranger thing going on, I always message him and say, Yo, man, check it out. So, let's see what he sent me. Ooh! Horizon Zero Dawn! Thank you, bro! Dude! Ooh! No, I will say, I really was intrigued. Um, Red Panda was playing this a while back. And I remember hearing about this game and debating about it. And I was going to pick it up, so thank you, dude. I'm glad I didn't pick it up because I would have been bummed to have two copies, even though it looks like an amazing game. Ooh, I like this art right here. This looks like cool art. You know what? Let's be different and let's throw, let's reverse the cover. I do that only for a few games. Um, there's some games that I like the inside cover art better, and I automatically know what the game is anyway, so let's do that. Cool little landscape and stuff like that, so. Hell yeah. Okay. So now we're going to jump into pickups. Um, there was a few games that I'm in the hunt for. Um, I'm currently looking for World of Warcraft on the PS1. I heard about that. Thank you to everybody for helping me decide that I am not going to be going on PC. For it is way too much money. Way too much money. So... I decided I'm going to pick up a couple copies of different games. Uh, I didn't realize that there was a Magic the Gathering PS1 game, or I forgot about it. But um, I'm into Magic the Gathering, for those who don't know. I played it a long time ago. Actually, one sec. I still have even my old cards from back in the day. Focus. Focus. There we go. And it's literally just a hobby of mine that I had for a long time. So yeah, like TwitchCon, they handed out a pack of cards, which I found really interesting. I was like, I don't buy the cards because of the fact that it's really expensive to keep going. Um, after like Stronghold is when I stopped playing Magic the Gathering. I played online. I play the Arena version because it's cheaper. You just work on, it's got like season stuff like that. But I found this game, uh, Magic the Gathering on PS1 Battle Mage. It's... Uh, a great copy. Uh, it's black label, so I like the disc art. Really looks cool. I haven't seen the gameplay too much. Kind of looks like uh, you battle cards. Maybe kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you have to battle bosses and stuff like that and get through. Because I know the arena version is literally that, where it's all the, you know, villains and people that are facing you and you have to battle them to get to the next one so i don't know looked really cool i wanted to pick it up so got that one next one on the list is a switch game i picked up cooking mama i wanted cooking mama um and then i found out that it was rare for some weird reason that nintendo pulled it from its shop no idea why but then it became hard to find a copy, but so for some weird reason when I went to Target a couple weeks ago, I happened upon the last copy that they had, and it was just sitting there. Like, it was the display copy, and I just asked for the display copy. They sold it to me right then and there, but yeah, I didn't want to pay $80 for a game that is literally just cooking. So, I got it for original price, and I'm happy about that. Uh, I haven't cracked it open yet, as you can hear the film because I am waiting. I have uh, Amazing Spider-Man, which I'm going to show now. But uh, yeah, I have a couple other games that I want to play first that I have to get through that are my backlog. So I'm going through simultaneously with a new game and a backlog game 
to kind of like offset and get everything going. So I'm getting close to beating all of my backlog games. The only game that's tripping me up is uh, Stitch 626, Experiment 626 on the PS2. For some weird reason, I am having glitch issues. Uh, a long time ago, I showed you all the glitch issues. I don't know why. Every game I play, I'm having glitch issues on most of it. And I don't know if it's just my PS4, it's a PS4 Slim, or my PS2, you know, like, I don't know if there's some, like, software issue, or if I'm just that lucky that I break games that easy. But, yeah, I am i can't get that one. I don't know why. So it's, it's just, it's an issue with that one. But, uh, yeah, so the next game I picked up was Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I found this at a local store here. It's it's a, kind of like a mom and pop, but it's uh, it's kind of like a step in between. So it's not GameStop, but it's got a franchise where there's multiple stores throughout, and if you trade to one, you can go take it to another. That's the only difference that it's it's not like it's just one store base, and it's like there's one on the east side, one on the west side, one on the north side. So it's really, really cool that I can find multiple like, and they're retro and modern. So. It's like cards and stuff like that. Um, we play games. I like their, they have a lot of stock and you can buy online and then just have a curbside pickup. So I got Amazing Spider-Man. I flipped the cover because I like the other cover. So the next game was an intriguing game. I think I talked about this in one of the videos and it is Flipping Death. Yeah, I had this game in mind to pick up. I was debating to get it if I was going to get it on Switch or if I was going to get it on PS4. The PS4 version dropped in price to like 20 bucks and the Switch version was 30 something still. So that made the decision easier to get. <laughs> so the next game I have on Xbox One but I wanted it on the PS4 so that if I ever decide to stream the games I have them. They scare the crap out of me. I played a little bit of two got stuck on part of it where the part where um where is it uh where you have to run and you have to get away from her and if you don't get away from her fast enough and push the cart then uh, you get stuck so yeah i've been dealing with that but uh yeah i got all the outlast games uh there's a new one coming out i'm really hyped for they implanted it straight to your brain so you don't have to go for the batteries now so the next game i have currently on the pickup list is Detroit Become Human. I picked this up. Uh, I got the Japanese version because I like the cover art a lot better on the Japanese version than I have on the American version in my opinion. So I picked this up. I got this for a decent price. Uh, I got it for 20 25 with shipping which is really amazing. So the copies that I found were like 15 bucks American. So I wanted to get this cover art. Uh, I do plan on getting any of the other games. I do have the limited run game on pre-order Quadratic Dream. I don't remember. I think it's Fahrenheit for the European version. So that was one of their first games that they, they made. So I got this one. I'm going to play through this one. And then when Fahrenheit, I'll call it Fahrenheit, and Quadratic Dream comes through, from limited run I will definitely play that one also because I loved Heavy Rain I loved when I played Beyond Two Souls and I'm grateful that J-Love told me to play my copies because they were on backlog and I was just like I'll just go through my backlog and she's like definitely play one of these first at least before you start playing the other games so I gotta play Detroit Become Human and I'm probably gonna stream this this probably will be the next game that I stream so the next game is Man of Median you saw me stream this on the channel this is a great game. It's fun. It's just like Until Dawn. There's two other games that are going to be out. I'm definitely going to pick these up. I have been in the works of like trying to make sure that I, you know, figure out all the steps, but there's still one that's tripping me up and maybe I have to hide instead. I kind of thought about it. So this, yeah, it's Mana Median. It is a really fun game. It's just like Until Dawn. Definitely recommend it. So the next two games that I picked up is Max Payne and Max Payne 2. Um, I've wanted these games for a while that I had them. Then I sold them and then I wanted them back because I found Max Payne 3 for like two bucks somewhere. And I kind of just couldn't, you know, I just, I, I wanted to pick up the other ones. Because this one is from the people that made uh, 
Quantum Break. I keep forgetting titles of games. Quantum Break, and I wanted to play through all three games before I played the third one. I had the third one, don't know what happened to it, bought it again, and then I forgot the storyline, so I have to play through Max Payne, which I know there is a movie about it, so maybe I'll watch the movie as well. We'll have a double feature. So the next game I picked up is Uncharted 4. This is the Platinum Hits version with the red case. I don't know why they did the red cases. I know PS2 it was red, PS3 it's red, but why red? Why not green? Well, then that's Xbox. Hmm, I think of Red, I think of Nintendo. I don't know, it's just me. So, yeah, I got Uncharted 4 because I wanted to play through it. I have played Uncharted series collection, so this was on my list and I wanted to pick this up for sure. Um, I know it's completely different on the story, so I'm hoping that the ending is not bad. So, um, I'm probably going to stream this one. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me stream this, because I'm definitely going to stream Detroit Become Human um, and a couple other games, but if you want me to stream this, should I stream Uncharted first, then more work my way through? So let me know what you want to do. Like, do you want me to play this one first, or go through the series and then work my way down? So it's going to be hard to get through all these games, but we're going to get through them. So the next game that I picked up was Agents of Mayhem. I know um, I have it on Xbox One, but for me, I wanted it on PS4 so that if I, if I wanted to stream this also, I can. I personally am not a fan of the game as much as the Saints Row series. I need to get Saints Row the Third remastered also, but I wanted to pick up the version for PS4, but for some weird reason, they didn't give the American version, a steelbook copy. So these are literally five bucks American. <laughs> so I can't pass up a steelbook for five bucks. So with shipping, it was like $10. It's, it's the weirdest thing to see that a game that was hyped, they changed midway. They changed midway to make it more Saints Row-y when they saw that nobody was getting hyped for it and always asking for Saints Row. So that's one of the reasons why I was a little hurt by this being not as good. There's Johnny Gatton here, and there's, uh, I think, Shondi, but I definitely know um, a lot of the characters in here are like an alternate plane universe because it's supposed to be based off of the ending from spoilers, Gat Out of Hell, fast forward. <laughs> but um, yeah, Gat Out of Hell has been out for a while, so. Basically, get out of hell. There's different versions of what you can do if God asks you what you want to do. Do you want to go with your girlfriend who has passed away? Or do you want to go back to an alternate universe? Or do you just want to be dead in hell? Or what do you want to do? And there's an alternate universe part. And this is supposed to be the alternate universe, but it doesn't feel like it. It looks like they just haphazardly threw in a couple characters and said, Yeah, this is the alternate universe. What you guys wanted, right? You wanted a Saints Row game. Nah. Horrible. So... And finally, the last pickup I got was The Last of Us Part 2. I got this, I pre-ordered it, and I got the Steelbook edition, and I unboxed it in the channel. Um, I am mixed about certain stuff, so I like it. It's a good game, but it's not like a 10 out of 10 for me. There is parts that drag, there is parts that make me really, really irritated. Um, there were so many glitches, so many glitches, and I looked online and I was not the only one because I had a couple people say, well, was the install incorrect or was it your PS4 is not upgraded all the way? It's updated, it's upgraded, like it's it's a PS4 Slim, but it's not a PS4 Pro, and um, I found that there's a bunch of people who found glitches where there's a horse glitch that if you go into certain parts of the Seattle area where the bushes are, it's going to glitch, freak out, and like spin the horse. Um, Ellie can go to the ground. There's parts where you can find out of bounds areas, but the most parts that I had the issue with was frame drops really bad to the point where the boss is still walking towards me, but I can't run because it's going so slow. And even though I'm not on like survivor mode or like the hardest mode, I'm still struggling because I am moving so slow and I'm trying to look load the gun and she's moving so slow. 
and also like Ellie's arm glitch was hilarious I put that online too so it's like a 7 out of 10 8 out of 10 because if there wasn't the glitches that made me forget like that it was supposed to be a serious game I probably would have did a lot better and in, in, in I would have had more fun with it and also um, some of the times when the AI character is supposed to follow you like Lev or Jesse they didn't follow me they were in the water or they were on the ledge and they didn't walk down or something was going on and I'm just like I can't get you guys to follow me I need you to follow me so you don't die so I don't have to deal with that because uh, clickers are everywhere <laughs> so there, there was just it was just a frustrating all-around experience on that part too so if there wasn't as many glitches if there wasn't so many frame drops to the point where I had issues playing I would have been fine I would have been okay I would have been cool with it I would have had a great time with it I would have not had any issues and it would have been a good game where it would have been like a 9 out of 10 or 8 out of 10 but because of the glitches and the story dragging a little bit it's a 7 out of 10 for me it's a good game I will I'm, I'm not like oh my gosh they should have changed you know the storyline because the storyline is gonna be whatever it is it's a post apocalyptic story so I was expecting something bad but I didn't see the leaks so I was shocked by that but um for me it's one of those games that you don't want to do what you have to do but you're gonna do it anyway whether you like it or not and I've played other games like that where the ending was like huh what really and it was an amazing game so this is an amazing game as far as if I can get it to f to work then it would be in and better like score but for some weird reason the glitches are all over the place and it just just frustrates me so much I'm having an issue with like the bosses and I shouldn't have an issue with the bosses the bosses are easy in my opinion on certain parts because literally just pick up all the ammo give you they give you enough ammo to kill every boss or fight the bosses and and just practice and get it better because they just spawn you right back to where you were kind of like Terminator where they spawn you back where you are so, yeah, I know a lot of people hate this, but say I love you. It's one of those you can't stop and get a petition to change it. It's not going to happen. And with no DLC, I don't know. Maybe they might make a third one and just call it a day. But for me, that was a story that I was not upset about. I was expecting something to happen to Joel. <laughs> I was because, you know, kill the doctor, kill everybody. You kill all the fireflies. I was waiting for more. I was surprised that it was, you know, Abby killing because of her dad. I was expecting like like the whole fireflies banding together and coming back to kill him. Or uh, another group, another faction just like murdering everybody and going crazy. So yeah, um, that is my pickups, guys, for pretty much a little bit of summertime. So yeah guys, that was my pickups and my gift from Bandana Game. I want to thank you for hooking me up, dude. That was an awesome one. I will definitely see if I, I don't know if I'm going to stream it. I will definitely play it for sure. And I do know the voice actress is uh, Chloe from Life is Strange, so yeah. So I will definitely put a link in the description for Bandana Gamer. Go check him out. He's an awesome person. And his wife is badass too. She can crush Pac-Man. So check out their videos. They make an amazing, you know, little tag team. I want to see, you know, like a little competition between them. Other than who can beat the most games of the year. It's a funny thing on the Twitter. You gotta go find Bandana Gamer on Twitter. He's uh, posting every time. Him and his wife post every time that they beat a game. Like, I'm one up on you. So it's a fun time. I know I'm probably going to get a couple more games coming in from Lunar Run. And I did plan on picking up a couple of games that are coming out that I'm stoked for. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody. Catch you next video. Bye. And thank you, Bandana Gamer. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games
心底。